check me out, y'all. I'm an all-American cowboy. I got blue ears, white ass, and a red mouth. If you mess with me, I chop you up cookie. Make a little stew out of you, feed you to my dog. He hungry, you know. Economy's bad. Check this out. This way, fellas. Feelers. Wow, this thing's hard to breathe out of. And I'm not talking about the mask. I'm talking about my nose. Jeez. I might have to get it fixed again. Woo! Good Lord! Alright, look. Here's what we're doing. What we're going to do on this, this is Rudiments 201. And this is going to be about um, playing from a duple to triple feel or from a triple to duple feel within a matter of counts. Basically, whoo! Basically, it's going to be something like this. You're doing a roll. And suddenly, you have to go to a triplet roll, right? Like this. Alright? There's a lot of trouble doing that. Especially in the beginner to advanced student. So I'm going to give you a few tips on what to do at home and how to think in your head when you're doing this, okay? First off, before you ever do a roll, how about just trying to do the notes themselves? What I'm going to do is I'm going to do four sets of 16th notes, duple feel, then I'm going to do triplets, then I'm going to do two 16ths, two triplets, two 16ths, two triplets, and then one sixteenth, one triplet, one sixteenth, one triplet. It's kind of hard to explain, but once I play, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about, alright? Now that's something you can do while you're warming up at the house. You know, if you're home and you're going to be practicing rudiments or playing something faster and all this other stuff, it is important to warm up, all right? Now, let's try the same thing. I just come up with this on just now. I've, this isn't something I've practiced before, not like this anyway. But let's try the same thing uh, doing rolls, okay? right in the beginning when I went into that first triplet roll I screwed it up it happens and it happens to all of us even the best of us whoever you may be so when you're playing those things it's gonna feel strange all right you're not always gonna go from a duple feel that I mentioned before, which is a two feel, you know, one and two and one and two and one and two and one and two and to a triplet feel. notes, duple feel with this, if this is a tempo, right, which I'm marking time to it, all right, eighth notes here, now then I'm going to play triplet notes with this hand, okay, no I'm not, <laughs> I screwed it up, ain't that great? all that. 
I have no idea. Ah, I know what I was doing. My head was boop, boop, boop. Okay. This is basically how it goes. over here, the triplets over here, and just doing a dynamic, lowering this one, raising this one, lowering this one, raising this one. Quite advanced. But, if you can do triplets like this, right? And start doing quarters on the rim. Then try to do eights, okay? set players will do the same thing using the other limbs these things down here legs and if you have a prehensile tail you could do that also look up that word all right so what I'd like you to practice is this just watch this and then as you're warming up at, at home or whatever practice something like this okay I started it off slow, and I screwed it up. If I had started it off faster, I wouldn't have messed it up. But I started off a little slower, and as your teachers are always telling you, slower is hard to play, I happened to screw it up there because I was thinking faster. So I'm not going to play it faster. I'm going to actually play it even slower than that, okay? tempo I need to work on that so I'm going to speed it up so y'all hear it all right triplets okay most of drumming is not done on the drum head it is done in the air okay because this stroke here was not just that what you heard was not the stroke what you heard was a stick hitting the drum the stroke was this hitting the drum and then bouncing back the stroke was this All right, now, if my hand is here, that's still the stroke. The stroke has nothing to do with the drum. The stroke is what the hands do. It has nothing to do with the drum. The drum is just the thing that you're hitting. You can hit anything. The stroke's the same. So when you're playing 16th notes like this, see how much time my stick's in the air, okay? Now, then when I switch to triplet, look how much time... My sticks are in the air. You don't have to hear it. It doesn't matter. Of course, you can tell these are 16s right here. We're going to switch to uh, triplets now. Look how much time I'm spending in the air, okay? So, keep that. 
that in mind, that when you go from the 16ths to the triplets, it's going to feel like, like, you're, like you don't know what to do with your arms in the air. And you need to be aware that you're going to rush the triplets naturally because until you get used to the feeling. All right? Uh, you're also going to sometimes, if you're going from triplets into 16th notes like that, you're going to drag the 16th because you've spent this going on and all of a sudden you're going to that and right in the beginning, you'll have a tendency to drag those. Okay? So going from sixteenths to triplets, you're going to rush. Be aware. From triplets to sixteenths, you're going to drag. Be aware. Okay? Best thing to do is, is, is really get in, get in a mirror. And look. Look what you're doing. Feel how comfortable it is. The tighter you are, like if you play this this way... Everything's either here or there, or here or there. It's going to be easier for you. If you play more like this, it might be a little harder on you. Because you're playing the more correct way to play, everything I just did is a rebound stroke, okay? So for the people that are controlling it all like this, it's not about the stroke, really. It's all about the drum. If you're doing it this way, there's more time in the air because you're playing them all as rebound strokes. So keep all that kind of stuff in your mind and... You know, play around with it, see what happens. I'm going to go work on my slow 16th to triplets junk that I found out that I hadn't done in however so long. But, you know, it shouldn't take long. It'll take me 10, 15 minutes, I guess. So, practice on that. Hope to hear from you. Give me some comments. Good Lord, I ran long, didn't I? Sorry about that, folks, but uh, hope it helps. Yeehaw. It's just drums. Thanks.